What's up, guys? I'm Machete Panda. I am back, and I'm here to tell you about some new mods that just came out. And uh, I think they're pretty cool mods. And we're going to have a special feature mod at the end. Um, but take a look at these. So I am over here in the mod store. Let's get the music going. And I'm just looking at some of these new mods that have come out. A couple mods caught my attention. This mod right here. This is a pretty cool looking truck. Um, it seems to have a lot of power. It has a, I think it was 900, 800 horsepower. So very nice flat nose truck. So I've added that. But what I really want to show you is this guy right here. This is a pretty cool looking Forester Compact. It connects on the back of your, your tractor. I'm going to show you how this connects, how this works and whether it's a good choice for you. As I said, I don't take mods that are anything less than four and a half stars. Um, this one is four and a half stars. And sometimes the mods that are five stars, I'll even just automatically install anyway. When it comes to the new store though, uh, things that just came out um, in the mod store, I tend to wait a little bit longer. I'm a little excited about these mods, so I'm not gonna wait. The other one was this Tele Skid. Um, it's a skid with a telescoping arm um, which is very cool so we're gonna take a look at that as well without further ado let's jump over and see what these look like all right guys we are here in the game and uh, we're at this Eddie's uh, store let's take a look at some of these mods what they're up to and what they're all about I'm gonna start off with um, mainly the skid steer but real quick I just wanted to show you this cool truck so um, here's that truck we saw that comes in a couple different flavors. Um, it actually goes up to 2000 horsepower, which is really amazing and powerful. I am slightly concerned at how accurate that is. Um, so I need to look up uh, what this is modeled after, which tractor trailer this is modeled after and see if it matches. But for now, we'll just use it because it's pretty cool looking. They did a good job. Lots of features here for your engine setup, pumping you right up to two thousand horsepower um, all kinds of other features like special editions uh, vintage all that so it's pretty cool looking uh, very customizable I'm I'm really loving the features on this um, I have not checked the uh, the stats on it so but let's skip down here to the skid steer and here's that new skid steer um, this is the teleskid steer it's got many 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 features um you can change the configuration around so you can have tracked i really like that tracked you can do a wide uh tire configuration uh standard tire configuration what i call you can have different uh tinted windows you can have a tinted window or just go with its plain one and what i really like about this is the ability to cage it like a forestry cage so I love that. Um, very cool. Different configurations for the forest, forestry cage. Um, oh, I didn't see that one. That looks really cool. So, all right. And then we can do beacons. Pop them on the top there. Um, you can change rim colors, all of that. But there's a good number of features in here. And um, yeah, loving that. We're going to take a look at that. And the next thing we're going to look for, look at, is under forestry equipment. And if we scroll all the way over here, what are these? We really want to take a look at these. So this guy goes right on the back of your three-point hitch of your tractor. Very cool looking. Um, this is a real-world uh, uh, tool that is actually used. Um, so I feel very comfortable with it. Um, the requirements and configuration for it seem to match the specs I looked up on the on their website. Um, it's very nice. Uh, this actually folds up, and then you can connect a trailer to it, or you can leave it folded down as a as a guard. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. There's only color choices that you can make with this. It's got a good selection of color choices. Some really ugly color choices, but you know you can. I think there's a yeah New Holland's in here, right there. So you can change your design around how it looks. Its companion is the trailer. Um, you don't need to use this trailer, but this trailer is a part of the mod pack. 
So it's a nice trailer. Nothing too fancy about it. Um, we have access to a trailer very much like this um, already in the default program. Um, it also, you can change its colors around, but the default trailer, I believe, oh, I thought it was somewhere in here. There is a trailer available for that though. But yeah, we'll take a look at those two things. Let's uh, get out here and let's start off with that configuration. So as you can see, this is the, uh, the lizard. Uh, the arm and the trailer connected together. And I just bought a tracker that was uh, 115 horsepower to get. But we have an accident over here. Uh, one of the guys flipped. So we're just going to come over here. And we are going to park right alongside of here. And we can just use the arm swing it over oh I didn't know that you could do this I did not know that you could change this configuration um, you can probably even change this configuration uh, outside of this I just did not know that you can detach it as you can see and if we pull forward we can actually um, where is it there it is we can turn the shield down so we can put the shield down and secure the tractor and lock us in place so we have a little bit more stability. Um, and let's just uh, grab some of these logs here and see how this all goes. And bring this arm out and let's just bring it all the way out. And then we're gonna have to Grab that. There we go. And we gotta get that log off a bit. And then pull the arm in. Whoops, swing the arm around this way. Pull the arm in. Lift the arm up. And the arm is so long, it's kind of it's kind of nice. The arm is so long that I mean I can just sit the tractor here and you can just go to town loading up this uh this 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 little uh this little trailer so we're gonna come over here let's just put this back up and let's reattach it Good to go again. Very nice. All right, and the next thing we want to do is take a look at that little guy right there. Um, let us jump over to him. There we go. And again, he's a nice little, little tool. Um, he's a skid steerer with a telehandler arm, so he uses the telehandler handler equipment. But um, we just maneuver him around properly. We can control the arm up down. We can control this portion of the arm, where it goes, how it aims, all that stuff. So we basically have a. Uh, oh, I'm need to be on my property to cut a tree. We have a tool that we can just go ahead and cut a tree down. And then we can come over to that tree. And we can cut the stump with the stump rider that's attached on this. And nothing special, but it, it works very nicely. Um, look at that. So, it's using the telehandler stump grinder um, and grinding the stuff for us. Now, that said, let's go ahead and eject the stump grinder as soon as it's done with the stump. Alright, not fixing my stump up. 
There it goes. Don't want to stop. So that's gone. And now let's go ahead and grab this. And let's just um, take a look at the telehandler abilities. So all the controls are everything you would expect. You know, with some minor differences. Like the ability to do this. Extend it out. Rather nicely. And I'm going to have a hard time, of course, because you guys are all watching. So, there we go. And grab that. Pull away. And we have some really good extension here. With the telehandler extension. We can just take this log and we can just drop it wherever we so choose. Now, it's a little dicey because the center of gravity is very small on the, this equipment, so very easily it can flip over. And I'll just drop that right in there. There we go. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. And there we go. Oh, nice. That was that one. We can come over here and we can just uh, latch up our logs and drive away. We should probably, you know, move this guy behind us here. But yeah, isn't that a nice feature? Now, the next thing I wanted to show you, you saw a little preview of it, but it was this guy. That is the surprise. We go to P for our, our store, and we come over to our forestry equipment. This is These are the two right here. And this is the mod. And if we open this up, we can take a look. We have a few options here. Long wood support. So this is, allows it, if the wood bucks, it stops the wood from bucking. We have a few wheel configurations. You can either steer a steering axle that'll steer steer with you to help you steer around corners or not. A lot of color options here, so you can really customize how the color uh, appears in this. Oh, I really like that the way those wheels look. So that's nice. And this one is seated. Now you saw two. The other one is remote control. Oh no, it's not remote control. I'm sorry. This is a seat. So the other one seated. The other one is covered. So this is a nice little cab unit. It's not just a seat unit, so that's pretty nice. Makes you feel a little bit safer. And again, all the a lot of them the same options, same configuration, just a cab unit version. So let's go ahead, jump out, and let's take a look at how this puppy works. go I drive right over here Ooh, we got air brakes on this guy let's get in the seat here now it doesn't show him in the seat here it doesn't sh animate the guy in the seat um, Maybe if we unfold it, it will. Let's try going back into it. I want to see if we can get this guy sitting in this seat. Yep, okay. So we had to unfold it. That was the problem. There we go. This length, this one should do that. And we have a lot of the same controls we do on the more fancy pieces of equipment that are around here. And uh, we'll just move this over. And I'm sorry I'm spinning around, but it's very hard. This game is it's very hard to see where things are and what you're what you're actually over. Because uh, I can't really tell what I'm actually over. And I'm hoping I'm over that lighter tone log. 
And we're gonna just bring it down a little and we're gonna grab it. Oh, I hope we got it. We got it, good deal. And then we're just gonna bring it up. Bring the arm over. Bring the log down. So as you can see, it, it basically handles the same way any other log would handle. So um, this log's a little short for this, but you know, that's how that goes. And oh, ta-da! And then you can strap your logs down. So that is a pretty cool tool. Um, I found a couple examples of this. Um, the stats don't quite match, but um, it's pretty close. So as far as what it can handle and, and the speed, the arm moves really fast compared to the, the uh, from what I've seen in the real life one. So, but yeah, that is what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed seeing these mods. Again, these mods are the following. We've got the one we just saw which is the Flegal Timber Runner Z Crane Pack. And there's two types. There's a cab version and a seat version. And then there's the Lizard uh, Skidding Crane uh, from the Lizard Forest Pack. Um, it comes as a pair, so you can purchase the three-point hitch one uh, or you can in the trailer to go with it. Or you can do some other combination, like maybe you want to do this one instead. but. Uh, those that that would be those options and then of course we've got come down here we've got the skid steer and that's just the jcb tele skid mod so and it is a very attractive mod very nice i can see why it's got so many stars and then lastly let's take a look at our truck and there's our truck from the tlx 900 series um i will say this I have had problems with uh, this mod, <laughs> the, the, the people that make this mod um, before as far as accuracy for engine power. Um, I don't think it's too bad, but sometimes the trucks can go insanely fast, uh, insanely quick. So, but um, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for the mods. Um, please like, please subscribe. And um, we'll see you next time. Thank you.